Thank you. Uh, my name is Peter Bales, Director of Northwest Watershed Institute. And uh, I'm here today to cram a 20 minute presentation into three minutes, so we'll see how it goes. But there's a lot of information here. Um, I'd like to thank the commissioners for all they're doing for trying to maintain and improve the livability of the community. Um, I'm here because I'm concerned that. Uh, the county commissioners have a narrow window of opportunity to do something really great for the county to protect the beautiful forest located between two county parks and all of the more importantly to keep that property from be eventually being transferred um, out of DNR ownership and traded away to private interests. And uh, DNR staff recently met with local government conservation groups and timber interests to seek their input in revising their asset management strategy for Eastern Jefferson County. Um, thanks to the work of John Austin and, and others who have been um, trying to get DNR more responsive to the county needs. Um, if you look on the first page there, this is their asset management plan that they currently have. And the green area is the area that they consider working forest landscapes. The orange is their interim hold and manage. And um, over, they've asked uh, for input from the county and from DNR and, and uh, sorry, from the county and from other groups, local interests, uh, on, the, on improving and revising this asset management <coughs> strategy. And I'm somewhat encouraged that we can get them to increase the working forest area, maybe to include the interim hold area you see on the map. But uh, DNR made it very clear there's a number of smaller dispersed ownerships, especially in the northern part of the county, that they want help from the county on how to get out of those parcels in a, in a conservation, win-win uh, type of solution. Uh, they're dispersed ownerships. They're harder and more expensive to manage. Of the 15 or so dispersed small ownerships that DNR appears unlikely to commit to long-term ownership, the parcel between Gibbs and Bosite Lake is perhaps the best candidate for a conservation solution. County ownership through the trust land transfer process. It has ecologically important older forests and connects two lakes, contains a portion of Gibbs Lake Trail System, and would be cost efficient and add significant value to two county parks. Unfortunately, uh, the solution is jeopardized because DNR has recently approved uh, the Silent Alder timber sale it includes cutting most of the remaining older forest between these two parks. Um, land generally needs to have a high percentage of older forest to qualify for trust land transfer. Um, so at this point, the, this is 64 acres and a 340 acre timber sale that we're talking about. It's about 20% of the total. And I'd like, uh, there's a letter in there of uh, support from the commissioners mm -hmm. that I'm hoping you can sign. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you could follow up with one of us or okay. staff, I appreciate it. Thanks. 